Coming up, the U.S. Army revamps their fitness test. And later, the Iowa City Public Library reopens in-person browsing. Welcome to DITV Now, your flash update on all of the biggest headlines coming out of the Daily Iowa Newsroom. I'm Destiny Cook. And I'm Ashley Wheel. The U.S. Army has slightly adjusted their Army combat fitness test to account for, quote, biological differences, end quote, between the sexes. This comes after a study found women failed 65% of the time, while men only did 10% of the time. Since a higher score raises promotion chances, this brought up inequity concerns. In addition to offering a two-minute, nine-second plank instead of the most failed leg tuck test, it will include specific evaluations for men and women in the hope for gender equality. Calling all crafters, the Stanley Museum of Art is hosting an event to encourage identity exploration and self-portraiture. This event, 3D Self-Portraits, guides participants to take a folded piece of paper to draw out how they think people perceive them. When they open the folded sheet, they get to do another drawing to show how they truly are on the inside. The idea is that we are not two-dimensional people. We have so many different parts of us that come together to create who we are. This event is a part of a program called Stanley Creates, which is a Zoom series of craft events that began last fall. And it's a way for people to come together. Um, it's kind of designed with families in mind, but anybody can sign up. Um, these projects are really accessible to um, a wide variety of people. We've had adults sign up. Crafters can make their self-portrait as personal as they wish. The Stanley Museum hopes this will encourage people to look at themselves in a better light. The Iowa City Public Library is making its return to Iowa City life after COVID closures. DITV reporter Elizabeth Neruda returns to the stacks. The Iowa City Public Library is opening back up its doors. After a year of curbside pickup and virtual events, people can be inside and browse for books again. And as one of the busiest libraries in Iowa, being inside the library means a lot for the community. We are a community of readers, and so to be able to enhance access again and to see that climate's been great. Computers are now available in the building for one-hour intervals. For adults, the technology access is one of the greatest advantages of the library. People are needing a lot of help with taxes. That's taking a lot of people's time. Searching for jobs, making resumes, things like that, need, usually you need longer than a half hour. Although the kids' room is not back to its normal hustle and bustle just yet, being able to pick out a book from the shelves yourself is a big deal for kids. It's a big part of growing up and becoming a reader is selecting those things. Iowa City Public Library celebrates 125 years of business this year, and in that time, it has survived two pandemics. This building is a staple in our community, and through it all, people are just happy to be able to get back through its doors. From the University of Iowa, Elizabeth Ruda, DITV. With a brand new season comes a brand new name. UI head football coaches now hold the title of Moon Family Head Football Coach. This new title recognizes the Moon's family support of the program. The Moon's recently created an endowment fund to advance the Hawkeye football program. Stay tuned later this week for more on the Moon's family's contributions. The Iowa football team kicks off its first spring practice of 2021 today. Uh, as a coach, I've always enjoyed this time of year because it is pure teaching. It's about development. It's about teaching. There's no game planning, no pressure to get ready for uh, Saturday's kickoff, any of that stuff. It's going to uh, uh, slide up the depth chart and uh, show some improvement maybe we didn't anticipate. COVID-19 caused a short fall season for the Hawkeyes, but Coach Ferentz emphasizes that this is a new season. Every player has a chance to prove themselves regardless of past success or position. The Hawkeye baseball team has been on fire. After losing their first game in Columbus, the Hawks have bounced back and win the next three games. The Hawks capped the weekend off with an 11-2 victory over the Maryland Terrapins. This puts Iowa at a 7-8 on the season. If they continue to play like this, the rest of the Big Ten needs to watch out. It'll feel a bit cooler today after the sunny weather yesterday. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 53 degrees. It will fall down into the 30s later this evening. Thanks for tuning in to DITV Now. We'll be back tomorrow with the latest on the University of Iowa, Iowa City, and Hawkeye Nation. From Iowa City, I'm Destiny Cook. And I'm Ashley Wheel. Have a great day.